My name is uh, Yu Kim Trang. I escaped from Vietnam by boat. Since the 79, my family came with my husband and me and the children. Okay. I still have the ID card from that time. The room is a small, and the by boat, I by boat from here, escape, escape from Vietnam by boat, refugee. Sneaky go to the boat, sneaky to go. Only escape, right? So at night time, you would uh, silently pack up and get on the, one of those small fishing boats, and then you sneak out of the, you get on the boat in the middle of the night, and then we just uh, go out and eventually hoping that we'll get out of the sea. Each of us have a different story as how we escaped, right? I mean, we all left in this uh, similar situation. You left uh, the country, right? Uh, at night time. And then you end up in the Pacific Ocean and then some people get robbed, some people get killed. And we were lucky to be rescued by the uh, Red Cross, and by the U.S. Army Air Force when they drive around in the sea and then they, they found some of us at refugee. So for us, we were lucky, we were interviewed by uh, the Canadian uh, government and then they sponsored us and brought us into the island. But her, her, is, her is quite interesting because she has worked with the U.S. and this year when she started the restaurant here, it was quite interesting because the food are very, very uh, different than any other restaurant and it's kind of a fusion type, right? artistic type. I live in here very dense and after that I just escaped. And we we came to arrive to Canada 79 until now. Delegation Canada interviewed me and where I want to go. I said, oh, I don't know the country Canada, but the first thing you must choose for me the nice the nice city, beautiful city, and they bring for me go to Cambridge. I said Cambridge that means flower, flower that means beautiful. That means I agree go there. That means someday I invite you to come to enjoy with my food in Vancouver restaurant, my, my restaurant. The restaurant name Bao Ki, B-A-O-Q-R. The first thing Vietnamese beef stew noodle, very special. And the second thing we have the chili satay noodle. That means mom food. I want to bring the Vietnamese food good for everybody. Because now the Vietnamese food is high, you know, high level, and my restaurant small, but I can show them real Vietnamese food. I'm a third generation Japanese Canadian, and so I was born. I was born here. My father has an interesting story. Uh, my grandparents were the first generation to have come from Japan. But, uh, he, so he was born in Canada, he was born up the coast uh, in a logging camp. And then um, he was sent back to Japan as a baby. So he was about two or three and his mother took him back to Japan to live with relatives there with his two siblings. And they, were, they were all lived with different relatives there. My grandparents stayed in Canada to um, build up their life as new immigrants without without the children without the children around. So, but also they I think that there was an uh, idea that having the children grow up with their culture more intact, go to school there, learn the language, etc., was beneficial for them. So that was how that happened. So my father actually migrated back to his ancestral home as a young baby and then when he was about 13 or 14 my grandmother went back to Japan rounded up all the kids and brought them all back to Canada so he and his older brother and sister um, you know had grown up in Japan uh, but now were thrust back into uh, Vancouver in the mid 30s and they didn't they didn't fit anywhere they so so they came back to a country that uh, was very was in, in a racist uh, basically basically into a racist community and um, so he uh, learned English on his you know he had to learn English and 
all the all the you know thrust into a, a, a yet again a, a different culture, but one that he was born into. And and then the Second World War happened, so he was part of the community that was interned, etc. My display is really about the blend of the blend of the cultures, and and how he was born Canadian, um, had a very distinct cultural experience of being Japanese and then but has lived the rest of his life in, in Canada so he would still you know basically consider himself Canadian um, and so the potatoes and the rice are just I remember growing up as a child uh, always having rice with meals depending it didn't matter what the, if the meal was Asian or Canadian the rice was always was always present so it's just kind of the the blending of the two two cultures, which for him was quite quite different than um, the experience of, for example, my mother, who was also born second generation, but never never lived in Japan, went there once in her life. Just different cultural experiences and different different migrations within within one you know within one uh, cultural group even. So. So being, and I know from being Japanese Canadian, third generation, my experience is completely different from uh, a, new, a new immigrant, say from Japan, who also considers themselves Japanese Canadian now, who's lived here long enough to you know, live longer in Canada than in Japan. But our experiences are totally different. And, and our cultural affinity is completely different as well.